Octonauts, our mission today is to find out what kind of sharks visit this reef. I can't wait to get out there and study them as closely as possible. But not too closely. Sharks can be dangerous. Aye, and that's why I just can't wait to get going and... Clean the gunk off the outside of the gups? What? It's your turn to do gup cleanup duty, Quasi. Ah, what's the big hurry, Captain? They can't be that dirty. Our gups are covered in gunk, and they don't work well when they're dirty. Ah, <sighs> aye, aye. I'll make them ship shape, but I'd rather be swimming with the sharks. Um, what about the gup, eh, Captain? It seems dirty too. Don't worry, Peso. She should be fine for a quick mission. Uh, maybe not. Aha! There she goes. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Okay, I'll get to work. After a quick game of table tennis, come on! Oh, look! There's a pilot fish. No sharks yet, though. Hmm, let's move further down the reef. Maybe we'll have better luck there. Some might say this is easier for you, Professor Inkling. <laughs> you win. Well done, Quasi. <laughs> I better get back to cleaning those cups. Well, maybe just one more game against all of you. You're, You're on. on. Hmm, no sharks here. Nothing here either. Try the front window. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. It's a. A sha, sha, sha. A great big white tip shark. See the white tips on its fins. Oh, and look at those teeth. Ooh, we could use a toothbrush. Whoa! <laughs> What's he oh. trying to do? Oh, Captain, I think he's trying to take a bite out of the gut. He could hurt himself and us. Hold on, Octonauts. <laughs> Uh-oh, sounds like some gunk got in the propeller. Hold on, everyone. All right, mateys. The next point wins. Shiver! Whiskers! It's the Guppe having a grand adventure chasing after a shark. They're not chasing that shark. The shark is chasing them. seem to shake him. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonauts, we need to get away from this shark. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone. Ready, Tweak? Now, close it! Phew! Good work, Octonauts. 
fascinating. I wonder why that shark decided to chase us. Maybe you looked like a tasty dinner, me hearties. No, that can't be it. Sharks don't eat ships. I'm just glad that shark didn't catch us. That'll teach me to take out a gunky gup. Um, how's the gup cleaning coming along, Quasi? I haven't started, finished yet, Captain. <clears throat> well, back to work. <sighs> What? <laughs> Who cleaned the gup, eh? I did. Hello, how did you get in here? I followed the gup and I'm ready for more and more and more. You mean, you like cleaning? I like it. I live for it. I'm a pilot fish. It's how I get food. I eat the gunk off of things. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. <laughs> then dinner is served. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at that. That's filthy. Mm, delicious. Oh, look at that. Filthy. Great work, Quasi. These gups have never been cleaner. Well, as I always say, Captain, if you're going to do a job, you might as well do it properly. I'm amazed how fast you were able to do this. And all on your own, too. Um, yes. <laughs> well, I, I didn't do it all on my own. You didn't? Quasi, I'm still hungry. I need to eat and clean, clean and eat. You got any more? Um, <laughs> meet my new cleaning assistant, the pilot fish. Hello. You must have followed us back here from the reef. The reef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I bet I could find something to eat and clean out there. What do you pilot fish usually clean? Sharks. Shiver me whiskers. Isn't that dangerous? Nope. Pilot fish and sharks help each other. I keep the shark's teeth clean. The shark scares away other fish that might try to eat me. If I could find another shark, then I could eat and clean all I want. I'd never be hungry again. Hey, there was a shark at the reef who chased us, and his teeth were pretty dirty. I wonder if they just needed a clean. A shark with dirty teeth? Oh, boy, boy, do you think we could find him? I reckon we can. Octonauts, our little friend helped us clean the gups. And now we're going to help him find that white tip shark. Peso, Quasi, you're with me. I'm ready to protect our little pilot fish if anything goes wrong with that shark. And I'm ready to take care of both of you if you get hurt. And I'm ready to eat and clean, clean and eat. Octonauts, let's do this. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. This definitely beats cleaning cups, me hearties. Ah, there's no sign of that shark anywhere. What if we can't find him? <gasps> shark. 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 And his teeth are still dirty, too. Yow! <laughs> Steady! Mm -mm -mm. Time to eat and clean. Clean and eat. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Open wide, buddy! Oh. He's okay. Ah, uh, that's better already. You're just the little fella I needed to clean my teeth. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad to help. So the shark was just trying to use the gup A as a toothbrush to clean his teeth. But now he has his own pilot fish to do the job. And I have my own shark to protect me. Gotta go. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. Thanks, Octonauts. Bye. Bye, Pilot Fish. I'm gonna miss that little fella. I guess I'll have to clean the gups all by myself next time. Oh, I'll help you, Quasi. You will? Of course. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Octonauts, 
My great-grandfather once visited the waters where the octopod sits tonight. Was he an ocean explorer too, Professor? Yes, indeed, Captain Barnacles. He wrote this book about the amazing things he saw in his travels. But there's a mystery in here that I've never solved. Yeah, I love a mystery. Then listen to this, Quasi. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth when all of a sudden I saw something leap out of the water. Something remarkable. And that something was a... Hmm. Huh? A what? That's the mystery. The next page in the book is missing, you see. Oh, Professor, we're in the same part of the ocean where your great-grandfather saw something amazing leap out of the water. Maybe we can discover what it was. That would be wonderful, Captain. There's a map in the book that might help you find it. Yeah. Why don't you take it with you? Oh, are you sure? Uh, it's never left my library, but... We'll take good care of it, me hearty. We promise. Don't worry, Professor. I'll put it in my special waterproof satchel just to be extra safe. All right, Shellington. Octonaut to the launch bay. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Ah, I don't see a thing. I'd better check the map in the professor's book to make sure we're in the right place. OK, but be careful with it. Of course I'll be careful with it. And why don't I hold it for you while you look? I can hold it myself. <laughs> Quasi Shellington, look at this. <laughs> Flying fish. Those flying fish took the professor's book. We're going after them. There it is, Captain. Hold tight. You almost have them, matey. They can't get away from us now. may have a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. <laughs> and look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin. I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts. We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but Captain, what about the professor's book? Hi, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed, but first our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Hey, sir, we've brought back a flying fish who needs your help. Aye, Captain. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Now, what seems to be the trouble? It's me tail fin. <sighs> you need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, it feels better already. You should stay here and rest a bit before you take off again. Okay, thank you. Captain, 
The flying fish will be able to fly again in no time. Ooh, flying fish! That must be the remarkable thing that my great-grandfather saw. I'll add that to his book right away. You tell him. No, you tell him. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, Professor, we sort of lost the book. <gasps> you lost it? But, but how? A school of flying fish came leaping out of the water. And before you could say Davy Jones's locker, they took off with your book. Oh, dear. I see. It's gone. But we'll get it back for you. On my honour as an octonaut, we will. But how? Those flying fish got away from us before, but now we know how to catch up to them. We just have to leap out of the water and fly like they do. But, Captain, how in the seven seas are we going to do that? Tweak? I'm on it, Cap. I'll get a little advice from my new friend on how to make the guppy fly. The first thing you have to do is leap out of the water. That means you have to go up very, very fast. Well, I already know how to do that. Wait, that's just the first step. What goes up? <laughs> um, oh. Must come down. <laughs> ah, I almost had it. After you leap out of the water, how do you stay in the air? Oh, I spread me pectoral fins like this so I can glide. Hmm. And I use me tail fin to push myself out of the water. Fascinating. Hmm. Pectoral fins and a tail fin that can move. Got it. <sighs> okay. I've added pectoral fins and a tail fin. Fully adjustable. Now, Cap, all we have to do is test her out and see if she'll fly. I'm afraid there's no time for a test, Tweak. Aye, we've got to get the professor's book back. There's not a second to lose. Peso, is our flying fish friend good to go? Time for a checkup. <laughs> Try moving your tail, Finn. How does it feel? Oh, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> He's ready to fly, Captain. With your help, we'll find your friends and get the professor's book back. Into the gups, Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Open the Octo Hatch, Tweak. Aye, aye, Cap. Oh, mateys. And there's the professor's book. Let's see if we can fly too, me hearty. That's incredible. Look at them go. Amazing. Ooh, flying fish. I see it. Be flying! Yippee! Octonauts, thanks to you, we can now add the ending to my great grandfather's adventure. We are ready. Oh, yes. Please. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth when all of a sudden I saw something leap out of the water. Something remarkable. And that something was. A magnificent school of flying fish.